Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Good morning. <laughs> I'm Jamma. I'm Jason. And we are living lucky. I know you are too. Put it in the comments. Say hello. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that share button if you feel provoked. To On do this so. beautiful Tuesday morning, is my is my do you call this a weed or a sprout? I'll I'll call it a sprout. <laughs> you know, when I first started wearing these, I put them in my hair because I thought they were weeds. Right? I'm like, oh, I'm going to put a little weed in my hair. You can call then, it a flower if you want to. I, right? You can call me flower if you want to. Who was that little stinker? Who? who? That was... Um, the Stomper. No, no, that was a skunk. The, I know, but what was the name? Call him Stinker. <laughs> it was from... Flower. Was Snow his White. His name was Flower. Oh, okay. Well, there you, you go. You can call me Flower if you want to. <laughs> I guess that's why the quote is the quote. <laughs> well, here's the thing. The more that I transformed, then it became a little sprout. And people would say, why are you wearing that in your hair? And what is that? And I would say, it's a sprout. And it reminds me to turn toward the sun. Turn toward the sun. And always keep growing. Always keep growing. And it also reminds me to take care of myself. Yes. My biggest job in this world, I feel, is to take care of me. Yes. Because yes. The, only, the only way you can show up fully for the world. Right. And for yourself is to take care of yourself. I really believe that. I came to the, it, it, you know, this is way off topic and I wasn't expecting to talk about this, but it just, it, it's on my heart. So I'm going to share it with everybody. But when I left radio, I really went through a crisis because I really considered my job, my identity. And I don't know if any of you have gone through this, but have you ever gone to a party and it feels like the first thing people want to know is, so what do you do? What do you well, do? I, it becomes like who you are. I'll tell you right now that there are millions of parents around mm -hmm. the world and moms in particular and stay-at-home dads, that they are going through the same crisis of identity because they were a stay-at-home parent and their child just graduated high school. Right? And so all of a sudden, it's like, oh, I don't know who I am. I don't know who I am. In fact, I would go to church and <laughs> I... I hated it when people would say, so Jana, you know, what do you, tell me about yourself. I'm like, eh, I'm, I'm a stay at home dog owner. <laughs> like I felt like I didn't have anything I'm an artist. worthy, I'm a puzzle. but for some Do reason it. I didn't identify as an artist. I didn't identify, like, I didn't feel like I was, I, I mean, I just was a recreational draw in a book. Do you know what I'm saying? And I was I was just learning colored pencils at the time. And so for me, it didn't feel like that was good enough to say, well, I'm an artist. And then because then they would come back and say, well, what kind of art do you do? Uh, I color, and you know, and, like it didn't saying, feel authentic. Saying or it finding myself, like recreating myself doesn't like that's a long conversation and doesn't seem like the conversation of, so what are you up to today? Or what yes. are you up to now? And, and it, it felt too deep for to strangers to say, well, you know what? I'm going through transition and I'm actually just really lost right now. And I don't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't say that at church, right? Yeah, That's not a conversation it's for... It's probably frowned upon using some of the language. That's not a conversation <laughs> for a first time person. So it was really, really weird for me to even meet people. In fact, I started to avoid people because I, I hated the question. I hated the question. All right. So I started asking kids. I started asking kids because they actually put us at the kids door to greet. And so I started asking kids. So what do you do for a living? <laughs> when they would come into the door, I'm like, oh, so what's your name? They'd be like, oh, I'm Susie or I'm... It, I guess Susie isn't really a kid's name these days. It's sure more like it it's more like Caitlin. I'm, or I'm Apple. <laughs> I'm Sunset. 
chased him. Okay, so Sunset would come through the door at church and I'd say, so Sunset, what's your job? What do you do for a living? And Sunset would look at me, you know, like I had a unicorn horn coming out of my head. And Sunset would say, I'm too young to have a job. Or they would... I play. Or Sunset would say, <laughs> I take care of my sister. <laughs> or Sunset would say, I eat my vegetables. You know, like just really, really day-to-day -day things yeah. as their I go to school. I job. Run. Yeah. Yeah. I learn for a living like that's what I do I go to school and learn and I remember one of them just said I play I play <laughs> that's my job is I play and so I started taking these answers from these kids and then when I would meet people at the grocery store or wherever we were if we would go to a little mixer or a party here in the neighborhood when they would say so Jamma, what do you do for a living I'd be like I'm too young to have a job. <laughs> and they would look at me. Do you remember some of the, the people? They would go, okay. <laughs> and they literally would look at Jason like, has she been drinking? <laughs> and well, that was the time when I had stopped drinking as well. <laughs> but the thing is, is we often tell ourselves we have to do this. We have, we should do that. And experiencing life as a rookie, experiencing life as a child that is an energy booster. Like that's one of those, to me, that's a, that's one of my motivational triggers is getting into my younger self and saying, Hey, what would make you just excited to, to grow up and be me today? Yeah. Like what would make your, it, like, think about this. Would your six year old self be excited to be you today? Like if the alarm was going off at four o'clock in the morning and your six year old self said, I get to go to work today and I get to do the same thing that I've be, done every day. I get to whatever. be Jason as an adult. Yeah. Or if your six-year-old self is imagining a life of adventure, a life of playing with someone, exploring a, an avenue of success with their friends, yeah. like that type of adventure mindset instead of, I've got to go, time to make the donuts. No okay. six-year-old wants to wake okay. up and go, time to make it. Okay, so man. question. Okay, so if you woke up this morning and you had to change places with your six-year-old self, do you think you would be more excited as your six-year-old self to be your 50-year-old Jason or your 50-year-old Jason to be your six-year-old self? So right now, there is an even seesaw between the really? two. Really? Yes. Because That's good. I, I am... So I'm so excited to get up every morning and do what we're doing. We're, yeah. we're creating. So we've been through this wonderful experience yeah. of self-discovery, getting deep into a lot of our limiting beliefs, a lot of our self-imposed limitations. And now I've been able to, ever since September 21st, when I actually sent the resignation email, yeah. I felt this, I felt my six-year-old self awaken inside me yes and a freedom and a it was almost like taking a deep clean amazing breath of life it was like it was like cpr or i don't even know what you would call it but it was liberating because and then every day we've stepped deeper into exploring what this beautiful thing is and helping other people do the same Yes. And it's not about quitting your job, but it's about finding what lights you up, what makes you excited to, to get up and just go out there and explore what life has to offer and make it an amazing, extraordinary experience for yourself. Yes. I love that. I love that. Okay. So Deanne says you're feeding your inner child. Oh, that's so good. That is so yeah. good. I'm going to steal but that. But how many of us starve him, starve our inner child and bury them, kill them off? Or or like stomp on their dreams. I remember thinking I have to grow up. Like I need to, I need to be an adult. I need to grow up. Well, I think being an adult growing up is actually taking ownership of the life that you get to live and making sure that you're living an exciting, fulfilling life yeah. instead of 
being what everyone else is telling you, I want you to be this for me so they can live a full, exciting, fulfilled life. And there's a there's a mix in there because right. we are coexisting with people. But when we start accepting every everybody for who they are and who they're going to be and how they're contributing to the world. Yeah. So those those questions that we ask every morning, how, what do I want to experience? How do I want to experience life? How do I want to grow? How do I want to contribute? Like when we feed into those and then what can I celebrate that whole mass when you when you allow people to live in their true authentic beings mm -hmm. we're meant we we will have a wonderful party of a life and it, and it will be exciting and fulfilling and also be providing sustainability for everyone i want to get to a few more comments sheila says i live like i'm 12 again i love right that. i think there was a movie plot about that and you start looking younger you do you really do you not only start looking younger, but you start laughing again. Oh. Why do we stop laughing when we become adults? There is a, it's amazing the difference between, like there was a study show, shown, and I haven't looked at it recently, but how many times children laugh in a day? Yes. And how many times adult laugh in a day? How many and that changes our face. That changes our, our facial lines and our facial structure. In fact, I'm starting laughing yoga again tomorrow. Oh, can't wait for Angela. <laughs> so just if you if you can think about it, if so when you're watching us, you might have a couple of chuckles, a couple of laughs, but on the days that you don't show up for living lucky coffees, how many times do you actually laugh during the day? Because that's that's a question I would love for our people to, to answer. Because I know sometimes, as happy as I am, there are days that I just don't laugh. Well, and I to don't do something belly like laugh we need to do something as like often that. as possible, right? Ah! It's funny. I went to the chiropractor <laughs> the other day, and she put this um, nerve massager on the bottom of my feet, and it about sent me out of my uh, out the window. It was, uh, I didn't realize how ticklish I was with that with that machine. Michelle says, I'm going through a personal reorg. Nice. <laughs> okay, but try saying that when you first meet someone for the first time. It's like, oh, so what do you do? Well, I'm going through a personal reorg. And I wonder if her trip around the world um, you led, know what? led to that. That may have helped be a catalyst. Because sometimes for... you get that self-discovery when you can just escape the, all the shoulds, and the the needs, and, and yeah. things that you're spo Michelle, supposed to be doing. Quote Michelle unquote. may be leaving her caterpillar self behind. She may be going through a metamorphosis. Oh, fly. which I love. I I'll love. I love. I'll fly away. Come fly away with me. He started out with a different flyaway song. Well, are y'all with me on that one? <laughs> are y'all with me? Because well, it's. I think it's come sail away. But, yeah, but that, she's flying. Okay, yeah. She's soaring. <sighs> okay. I, I I was, I was, I knew something was off there. I knew morning, something David, was off. Sheila, oh. Marilyn, Deanna, Patrick. Oh. All right. I feel well, like romper room. again, we, we started <laughs> on one thing and then my, my little You sprouted sprout, into something else. I sprouted into something else, which is how God intended today. So. As my little sprout reminds us all, is to nourish your soul, nourish yourself, turn toward the sun, turn toward the sun, take care of you, take True care of, of your you, life. and what you water is what's going to grow. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, uh, the international sign for watering. The gold is inside, and that's the fruit that you will bear. Oh, Love good. you guys. Have a great day. Bye bye. Keep living lucky. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.